everyone, it's your girl Melly. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing this new keychain that I recently purchased. I have been seeing a lot of stories online of women who have been attacked by males in just different places and some places that you know you wouldn't expect I spend a lot of time by myself um, and as badass as I think that I am I realize that I am short I am small as much as I want to do I'm only going to be able to do so much so I saw this little keychain with a bunch of different little gadgets on one of my groups and one of the groups that I'm in that has like coupon codes and I was intrigued because I like to shop and I spend a lot of money so I want to buy everything but um I just let it be right I'm like I don't really need that but then I saw this person on TikTok who was saying like hey if I'm gonna be attacked like you know I'm gonna be pulling this little alarm I'm gonna be using this little thing to stab you but you do have to have this like in your hand uh, to be able to use for that I'm like well maybe I should get one right because it was like normally like I think $30 and so it cost me $10 with the coupon so I'm like well $10 is not bad um, and some of the things I might use for maybe non attack purposes because it comes with a little pepper spray which is good right it's something that you would already buy and have on hand um, and you don't expect to use it really or you hope you're not going to use it so um, I feel like 10 bucks was a good deal. All right, so it comes in this little box. Um, and this one just says gifts for women and girls, car accessories. I don't think that's the best description for this, but <laughs> yeah, this little box is cute, right? The little marble texture and it says gift for you. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Okay, this is the inside of the box. It comes with multiple things so i'm gonna just start picking these out the first one and this is a lot this is a lot of things like i like to keep it really simple this is a lot of things to have with you and have on your in your hand i kind of feel like it's more one thing that you keep in your car like i have my keys and then i on one chain that i on one keychain and then I have this on a totally separate one that if I go out at night, like if I'm at Walmart, then maybe I'll take it inside with me, but I wouldn't just stick it on my keychain because. Um, so the first one is a little alarm and it looks like, I couldn't see this but from the thing, but they each come on their own little thing. And I guess you can all attach it to this one, right? So it comes with a main keychain holder and then you can attach this to your keychain but again it's a little too much for me so i wouldn't but i'm skipping here um so this one is supposed to be a little alarm and a flashlight so it has a little button Ooh. hey if your phone is dead and you just need something to light yourself like this not bad um the next thing I don't know why this looks like it's a button but it's not the other part that i saw was that this is supposed to be an alarm so if i pull this it should make a noise wow that is loud um it's okay layla my dog's like what the heck did you just do i like that it was actually hard to pull off and it has like a pretty good like Thing to grab but like because one thing right that i would think like oh i'm gonna put it in my purse and it's gonna fall off and i'm gonna be just an alarm everywhere but no it actually like you need to tug on it a little bit so that's pretty cool i like that and i like the sound i mean in most cases it's really sad to say that there is this bystander effect um there's a specific uh there's a specific word it was named after uh genevieve i believe that was her name who was a female 
um, that live in this apartment housing in New York. And I might get the story a little bit wrong. I haven't read this. I read this in like my criminal justice classes way back in the day. But this female, she was being attacked and all of the neighbors, you know, they were hearing the ruckus. They were hearing the screaming and nobody did anything. Nobody helped her. And I don't remember if any of them called the police until after. Um, and it was all based on this idea that somebody else was going to do it. You know, somebody else might call. Like, I might not need to call. And and people not wanting to be, like, responsible for calling. Like, so they're like, oh, well. It's kind of like when you see something wrong, you're like, eh, somebody else is going to call. It was pretty much that. The female was killed. And that's why I think, like, this is cool. But I don't know if people would actually help you. That being said, I do think it would, one potentially scare somebody off because one they're not going to know that you have this they're just going to hear this noise and the alarm it's kind of like when the car alarm goes off and you know they're trying to look at your car but if they hear the car alarm go off like some people do get scared because they're like oh crap maybe they're in the area so one it might kind of scare people off but then two i also think it would direct people's attention to you so at least if something was going on they would you would know that somebody looked right and then Somebody would be able to identify or help identify whoever was causing the harm. So, yeah, I like this. It's loud. The other part is this little pom pom, which I like the pom pom, but it doesn't really do anything to help save you. So, just for more looks right here. Next, which you probably shouldn't put it myself, this is a pepper spray. Um, which I don't know how big the thing is in there. I don't know. Stop, Leela. I don't know if you can replace it. It would be cool if you would be able to because it kind of sucks. I mean, I, I don't like plastic. I don't like having too much plastic. So that's the only reason that I'm like, I wish that you could replace it. I don't know. I don't want to pull on it too hard and break it. Um, not that I'm that song, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but I also feel like it's probably a very specific one for this plastic uh, casing. Um, so that's the only thing. But cool thing. This is kind of like, it's something to stab somebody. Like, if you need something sharp to get people off, I mean, this would do its job. It's pretty darn sturdy. I think that's like metal. But yeah, this is kind of cool. You can just grab it. Cause sometimes, I mean, I have never been like attacked like people have, but I feel like anything to throw people off that you're actually gonna fight. Um, and not just like fight, you know, with your hands. Because again, like I said, I'm small. I can only fight so much, but having something nearby, um, you know, it could help. So, you have this little stabbing thingy. Then, these are not really, like, to save your life. This one is a chapstick holder. Simple. But, you know, I have lost a lot of chapsticks in my day. So, I guess it's not a horrible thing to have a chapstick holder. Leila, stop. Um, and then, this other one. I mean, COVID was pretty bad back in the day, is a hand sanitizer holder. This would be good for my car. I still like, even though, whether you believe or, they, or believe in COVID or not, one thing that it made me realize is that I need to clean my hands more often, that I touch a lot of stuff, and then I eat. So, <laughs> um, yeah. These last couple weeks, I've been really, really focusing on keeping myself healthy um because as you go through this transition into fall a lot of people get sick and they do not want to get sick um so hand sanitizer has been my best friend um so yeah so overall you get oh wait there's more Ooh. it's a key with a freaking knife <laughs> this is awesome like, dang, I feel <laughs> like it, it, it just is 
obviously if you look at it you see that something's different about it however it's pretty darn cool if it's just hanging there this would be something that i actually might keep on my actual keys i think this would be a cool gift for your daughter or your friend or whoever is going off to college um when i went off to college i did get like um a chaser as a gift it got some pepper spray so i think this is pretty cool um so you get one two three four five six seven things and i guess this one's eight but seven things that you can attach to this little uh keychain yeah so seven things and i got it for ten dollars so i feel like i got a really good deal um i think they're normally 30 but you do get a lot of cool little things and i i don't know which one is my favorite i really like the key but i also really like this alarm thing just because it's loud like i do feel like if i started this alarm like somebody might be like what the heck you know like they wouldn't know what is actually making that noise so that i think would throw them off a little bit more so but that's my theory i mean i don't know but now i'm not going to get it back in there so yeah so that's my little um i'm gonna call it a woman survivor kit i don't know i mean it could be anybody i guess it doesn't have to be a woman or a female but a survivor kit i like it it's cool Hopefully you never, ever, ever, ever have to use any of these things. But it's cool. It, it, I think it is something neat to have in your car or with you when you're, you know, going into the store at night. And yeah, it's kind of cool. I like it. So if you have questions about it, if you want the link to a specific one, let me know. If you want to know what group I found it on, let me know. Um, I have seen that in these groups, they will put coupons for similar things. Um, so if you're interested in one, but you don't want to spend, you know, $30, just let me know. And I'll get you that information. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video.